Mount Vernon 2, Leaseful 4. And we had, uh, actually, it paid for, uh, coupons paid for themselves five times. So I, I'm not sure it might not be a bad idea to, uh, the April's intake for the golf course was $27,919.77, and I think my, the four PO numbers I had on my desk this afternoon was probably this amount, maybe. <laughs> but anyway, uh, wasn't quite that much, Jim. Uh, Jim and I both had to sign, I and mean, it was, I know it was <coughs> painful when you sign those big ones like that, but, but it's good to know that, that they play 1,423 rounds. And uh, I did tell Jackie and the girls out there to go ahead and, you know, we talked about one time having to uh, give people their birthday, the green fee only, uh, just for like a year and to promote it. Uh, and, it, you know, all of you, when I was talking about it in a meeting, I think we had it in a pre-meeting or workshop or something, I brought that up and uh, somebody said it was a good idea. And I, I kind of think it is, but with a picture ID, they have to, you know, or not. So I told her to start that June the 1st. Along that line. Oh, I'm sorry. I just don't think it would be a bad idea to maybe do this again sometime. Well, we're, we're really talking about it. I don't know. We've got, we got eight minutes. An idea of being bounced around is uh, this fall at the Mobile Press Register will publish another coupon booklet type supplement to the newspaper in the fall of the year, which is what we did that in the spring. And what it seemed to me like seems to me like what might be a good idea is to take advantage of that in the, this fall whenever that supplement comes out again and perhaps uh, have another promotion that would um, that would focus on couples, a coupon for a for a coupon in lieu of payment for a couple to promote couples play on a Saturday or something like that, or each Saturday in, in October or something like that. Yeah. Perhaps something like that might be another good promotion when things, things kind of slow down a little bit. Okay. Anyway, that's just what I mean. Okay, and our, uh, we, the industrial board owns a dump site on, uh, off of Odom Road, and uh, recently ADM took a fly over it. And it was nothing serious, but it was just, you know, it was a one or two issues. There was a five-gallon bucket out there that had a drop or two of uh, maybe oil, of like maybe, you know, I don't know, probably someone went out there individually and maybe changed their oil or something. But anyway, the things that was out there, it's all been corrected. Uh, and, and we sent a letter. We've got everything documented. And it was, like I said, it was nothing serious, but um, I whatever. Uh, but my uh, take on this is that we quit using the, uh, the dirt pit because uh, we're going to have to buy a permit for one thing. And once you buy the permit, you know, we don't have, you know, we have access, but so does probably 40 more people have access to the pit because it's an oil field road. We have no way of keeping people out of it. Uh, they're going to continue to throw paint buckets out and everything else, you know, like they do in other areas of our city. But this makes us liable. So I'm suggesting that we quit using the dirt pit altogether and just let the industrial board have it. Uh, and so I want y'all's feelings on that. Dirt is, we don't use a whole lot of dirt anyway. Uh, we could get it from one of the contractors, but on the, uh, the a good side of that is the all the dirt that came out of the dam, which is a humongous pile. I mean, it's enough dirt out there for us to use the next 10 years, no more dirt than we use. They're giving it to us. Uh, they actually even moving it for us to stop piling it on the back side of the uh, ball complex that Jeremy's talking about. Is that Clayton Park? I don't want to get the names on. Uh, out at Clayton Park. It's, it's behind the ball field in those woods back there, but we have plenty of room for the 200 and something acres of land we have. Uh, so it, that's our prime opportunity to use this dirt, and it's good dirt. Uh, actually, they've even, they, the 
crews put pipe in today. We've always had to go out and go through the Rouse land on Prime Road. Uh, the people that's building the dam, uh, Philip, uh, gave us the dirt, and they also moving it for us. It's not costing us anything. They built a road into that 240 or 80 acres, whatever it is. Uh, and I would like to see eventually uh, some, like some campsites back there, uh, just roughing it like we could have like tents and uh, pop-ups and things like that. Uh, the, they, they brought the dirt in, built the road, and spread this whole thing. They didn't charge us anything. So uh, to make a long story short, we'll just use that dirt, and when it runs out, then we'll go revisit uh, our contractors in town or whatever, if that's what y'all want to do. But I do want someone to make, uh, we'll put that in form of motion to uh, not enter into the uh, dirt pit. You want to motion the state that we're not interested in, in buying a permit from a &M. Right. And to, to close. Why don't well, you phrase it, not interested in using the dirt pit that belongs to South Alabama Utilities? Uh, it belongs to industrial. Uh, industrial board, that's right. I didn't do that. That covers everything. Okay. We're adjourned. Thank you. We'll talk about it more in a minute.